to accompany a singer, you have to have, unless you, unless you really know a certain line of songs, a certain composer's songs, a certain repertoire, you best have some preparation in it. And I've accompanied a lot of singers, and they are, uh, some of them really like to hear the same thing all the time. Some people are more jazz singers. They respond to different, slight differences in tempos or in treatments, and you, you go on a kind of more adventuresome way. The singer that I remember most, and I think best, was Maxine Sullivan. She was certainly a jazz singer. She sang with a wonderful sense of time. Uh, she occasionally, but not necessarily, would alter the melody. And she would just uh, understand the lyrics. And uh, she would respond to any uh, alterations you might make or modulations you might suddenly make. Some singers would be th thoroughly frustrated, frustrated if you were playing in, the, in this key. And then the piano player, I wouldn't do this with somebody I didn't know, he went into the next key. Uh, modulating like that is something you only do if you feel very confident in the other person or you have rehearsed it. But with somebody like Maxine, I was able to do all kinds of tricks like that, and she knew exactly musically what that was all about.